Okay, this, this is the liquid helium D wall, it's different from liquid nitrogen. So last time we need to transfer from this liquid okay. liquid last time we need to transfer from this liquid nitrogen to this uh D wall, right? So that we can uh get out the liquid nitrogen. But uh we got this one directly from the vendor for liquid uh helium, so we can just insert the transfer line directly to here. So we need to don't need to do any transfer. So uh, the first thing, of course, uh, release this. Now this one, they always keep it on because it want to release the pressure. If you, for example, if you did not finish liquid nitrogen and you go home, you forgot to turn this valve on, it's going to uh, build up the pressure and eventually it will release from this release valve and it might, fro it, uh, it might be frozen and then the gas will keep leaking out and then you will lose everything, right? So when you go home, you must turn off this, uh, I mean, turn on this red uh, valve, right? But for now, we are doing the experiment. We, of course, we want to uh, close it, just turn uh, clockwise. Uh, yeah, right, that's the first thing. Second thing is we will uh, also open this one. Uh, Okay, and we are going to insert the transfer line to this one, right? Of course, I can turn this on now, it doesn't matter because the valve is here. Okay, so just like what we did for liquid nitrogen, we were going to insert the transfer line to here and then uh, transfer the liquid. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I need to do it quick so it won't get frozen. So it's coming out very fast. And you may freeze. Just here, right? Take a run, see what's going on. Okay, so we are done uh, here. Now this uh, is coming out. You can hear the sound, right? Uh, I will just insert to here directly. Okay, you can hear the sound. I think the liquid nitrogen is going. Okay, can you stop it? Thank you. Okay. 